what is up YouTube, I'm Ben Plays Games, and today you join me doing another tutorial guys. Today's tutorial is how to make a channel banner as suggested by MT Gaming. your name should pop up on the screen now. And pretty much guys, without further ado, let us get into this tutorial. I've put so much effort into this one guys, and if there is anything you guys want to know, leave a comment on this video, and you may be featured in my next video if I decide to do the tutorial you suggest. But without further ado, let's get into this. I also forgot to mention guys, the uh, program we're going to be using to make this channel art is paint.net it's a free software i'll also leave the link for that in the description below so guys the first step of making your um decent channel art guys i'm not the best at making channel art but i am okay at them the first step to making it is downloading the file in the description below that will be a template guys i'm going to open it on the screen now and as you can see it literally gives you a template of a channel art what you are then going to want to do guys is clear out that whole middle area where the numbers are other than the way the TV is so as you can see on the screen now I do use the magic wand tool however you can just select it with the square tool and just clear it out guys and that is the next step so for the next step what you only want to do you only go into Google images and type in the color that you want so for instance if you want blue type in blue pink if you want pink but I decided to go with neon green for this tutorial guys and then you want to type that into Google uh, with along with background in the back like uh, after the color and you want to scroll down and then you're going to find the one that you really like and now I just decided to go with this one here so then what you want to do is you want to copy and paste that uh, into the good old paint.net then you want to uh, add a new layer first though guys because adding a new layer will help um, keep the layers are on track and keep it so the background doesn't overlap the actual background of the template and then you want to re resize it using the shift tool down to the size of the uh, the the line and then when you've done that because it's a solid fill background guys you can just stretch it out and you won't notice the difference and that's your background for your channel art so guys for the next step what we're going to do is we're going to go back onto google images and then you're going to decide what your channel is about so mine is about gaming and most of all call of duty so let's say we're going to do a call of duty one for the sake of this tutorial uh, you want to pick call of duty and then you want to think of something to do with call of duty now obviously black ops 3 being the big game at the minute i decided to go with ruin which is my favorite specialist uh, also you got to put png on the end of it which will make it so these these little checker you see the little checker things behind him make sure it's a picture with those on it then copy and paste it right over into paint.net and then what you want to do is you want to create a new layer just so it doesn't overlap because uh, otherwise it will that, like you, you will actually see the uh, checkered and which that, that's not what you want to do also you don't want to uh, adjust the canvas size you want to keep it the same then you're going to want to shift hold shift and then size him down to the size he needs to be to fit in the middle row where, where we're on about like editing then what you need to do is you need to actually flip him round. Now I forgot how to do this in the tutorial guys, but it is simple. You literally just click uh, layers, I think it is. I, I, I was looking everywhere, like I went, I went mental here, <laughs> looking everywhere for the flip tool, and then I realised it was one of these. And then you go into layers, and then you click flip horizontal. Now this is one of the reason why we create layers, because obviously if we hadn't created a layer for this, uh, it would have flipped the whole thing. But because we created a layer, it flips the layer, and there you go, you can place the ruin there. That's this step. Let's get into the next. Okay guys, so for the sake of this not being a boring channel art, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the background uh, lime green, because obviously it's one shade. So you're going to want to go back onto Google Images, and we're going to type in gradient colour, which is, we're going to stick with neon green, but we're going to go with gradient. This means it will go from one shade to the other. Now the picture I picked, I didn't actually notice, uh, I did go for that one, but then look at the, like, the, the size of it, it was too small. So then I decided to go that one quickly. Now I didn't see the white surrounding it, and then when I copied and pasted it into Paint.net, as you're gonna see on the layout, look, it doesn't it doesn't overcover the ruin. Uh, you, you're gonna see in a second, but it overcovers that background. So what I actually had to do is I had to delete this one. Now that creates the white PNG effect. I had to delete that one, and then I just grabbed the next one I quickly saw, just for the sake of making the tutorial as quick as I can. And then I copied and pasted that over into Paint.net. Now, obviously, because it's a, a gradient a green, it's just a colour. You can stretch it out, guys. It doesn't look that pixelated at all. And as you can see, it goes straight behind Ruin. Thanks for the layers. And that's why you create layers, guys. And let's get back into the next step. 
So guys, as you can see, the channel art is slowly piecing together now, and we have a little bit of a character going on. But what you're going to do is go back over to Google to get the text for it. Now, you're going to type in cooltext.com. I know that doesn't sound like professional or anything, but trust me, it's actually really good. Then you're going to want to search up Kamika Axis Font. Now, this font is really good, I would think, for thumbnails and channel arts. It's probably the best one on this website. It really doesn't matter which one you pick here, because we are going to be completely changing the style of it um, to... You're going to go over to logo and then you're going to want to change the start and end colour both to white for this sake of this intro but you can do whatever colour you guys want. Then you're going to want to put your uh, outline up then you're going to want to type some simple text in where it says text. Now you don't have to create the logo, you're going to right click it and then you're going to press copy image. I'll just type Ben Plays Game just because it, I'm going to keep it simple. Once again create a new layer and then as soon as you create this new layer hold shift to make the text larger uh, to keep it in proportion and then you want to go back over to cooltext.com just to get more uh, what's it called just to get more text for your channel art and you're going to want to type in something like simple like either what games you play or like comment and subscribe now i stick to the games that i play so i, I did call of duty come out minecraft come out much more and now i know that's quite basic for a channel art and this is quite a basic channel art guys but obviously this is this is how i made my all right one and i've been complimented on it i do thank you for the compliment by the way uh, mt gaming but this is literally how I make the channel art, and now I'm going to show you how to add a background for the TV, the, uh, uh, voice break, <clears throat> the, the TV section in the background. Let's get on with that. So guys, I decided to give the channel art a bit more detail. I was going to go and grab uh, Ruin, a, a little buddy or something like, if you want to call, him, uh, call it that. But yeah, I pretty much just want to add some more details. Now, I did try and get Black Ops 3's battery, the War Machine character, but unfortunately, the PNG version, as you can see there, has got like a watermark on it. So I couldn't actually use that because I would actually have to remove that watermark. So I did type in specialists, and unfortunately, most of them had actually got that watermark on them, other than the simple. I tried to get the dog, I think, I don't know if that's Riley off ghosts i think it is but i did try and actually get a, a specialist but i couldn't find one so i did actually just destroy just for the sake of the video to go back up and just grab the basic black ops 3 soldier you know the one that like on the start screen or whatever so i copied and pasted that over to paint.net now what you want to do to make it behind ruin to make it as if it was like behind you want to drag the new layer behind the ruin layer and you want to square it up guys, put it in place, and obviously that does just give the channel art a tiny bit more detail, which makes it look slightly better. Now, I did I did experiment around with it, as you can see, but I just decided to keep it like that in the end. Like, I, I, I don't know why I tilted it, but there you go. A bit more detail into it, and let's get on to the final step. So guys, in the final step of this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go right back down to the background layer and then we're going to want to completely clear the background layer off now because obviously we have created everything else on the layer after the background so you will not be wiping any of your channel art as long as you've done this right. We're going to wipe, completely wipe this layer then we're going to go back over to Google. Now I did decide to go for pink but then I decided to change it to a purpley one I think. I tried pink and then I didn't really like the look of any of them, like they, they all look way too girly. And then I picked the purple, as you can see there, and then I really like this one here uh, that I do select. I, thought, I don't know why, I just kind of like it, I guess. Uh, so yeah, you want to copy and paste that back over to paint.net, and because of the layers, how we've got the layers, it will be on the background layer, and then you just want to simply drag it out to as big as you need it on the background layer. And there you go, guys. That is your channel art completed. Save that as a PNG or a JPEG file. Go and upload it to YouTube, and then there you go, guys. You've got a decent, half decent channel. Now, I didn't put anything in this uh, half of the actual basis base channel art because your profile picture will actually be in that square now i did almost break it uh, as you're going to see now i almost dragged it so i just quickly quickly undid that uh, don't, don't don't do that guys don't select it but yeah thanks for watching this tutorial guys i hope you've enjoyed i've been ben plays games if you want a tutorial and you've watched it to this point in the video leave a comment down below leave what tutorial you want me to cover and until next time guys i'll see you later Bye bye What is up YouTube, I'm Ben Plays Games, and today you join me playing Viral Bear 2000 guys, now this game means so much to me, uh, as I did actually play it when I was a bit younger.